Good evening time everybody. Zero when I hear donkey stomper. We got another ant fixed. Oh yeah, please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. What we got you on here. Ring a bell if you want notifications on that stuff. We uh been kind of busy today, didn't do a whole lot of amp work in the shop. We uh had to mow the yard, move the refrigerator, fix the jeep. You know, everyday life stuff goes on around here too, and we got a big farm, so and we pull tractors. We do a little bit of everything, so you know it's gotta live a little too. Anyway, we got a six pill, super six hundred high drive, HG six pill, side bend bias. Alright guys, this is a repair. A customer told me that his jumper went bad. This is a C box, and when his jumper went bad, he said poof it quit. Or coax or something. Anyway, what happened was uh when he loaded it up it drawed a lot of current and it blowed out this hot strip right here into it. So then all of his voltage to each one of the transformers is gone. Here's the build. This not a real old build, but it's older build biased. See. It's all, of course, my word. Anyway, we took this strip and we soldered down a uh, 12 gauge piece of uh, solid copper. Oh, again, which that, that'd be over with now, it won't happen again. But that's one reason why I like to do it different. Generally, everybody, you know, the other builders all want you to do it this way, some do some, whatever. Everybody's got their own opinion. But I like to mount the transformers right to the bus, and when the transformers in the middle of the bus, it can't happen. And then go ahead and fire out up the hot wire right here. Instead of doing it on each transformer, put them all on the hot bus. And that when you put the transformers in the middle of that, that that trash will not blow. That cures that problem. And then when you do this right here, but you can do it either way. You need to fire out up the wire right here to keep from any. Uh, if you fire out the wire up here, it still keeps from any RF going back up to the 12 volts traveling that way. Same purpose, but different ways. Some say this is cleaner. Some say it ain't. I can't tell the difference. All my amps that I run personally are soldered right on the bus. It's easier to do, and cheaper, works better. Knocks out, that's the only reason I like doing it. When you solder them right to the bus, it knocks out two or three things in one deal, but some say it's not the way to do things. Some say it is, some say it ain't. I've, I've went both ways. I'll solder them on the bus, and some of us, and I'll solder them back like everybody else. And, then I need to put them back on the bus. For now, I'm just going to do them on the bus like I want to. I ain't going to worry about what everybody says because I know it works. I mean, I, that's why all mine are in my boxes. Talk good, DX. But um, anyway, there you go, man. This is all fixed up. Like I said, what probably happened is you went to draw a bunch of current when your SWR got high. When you're drawing a bunch of current, that's a weak link blue. All right. Turn it all off. Put red and red on. Straight through SWR. Hello, worldwide, worldwide, donkey stomper. Turn it on, radio drive, input SWR, worldwide, worldwide. All right, here we go. Working this little six pill, radio drive, six pill, radio drive. Of course, it's not showing a whole lot with just regular radio. And the 2879C has got less gain than a regular SG. It'll make more watts, but it takes more drive to get there. It's got less gain. So that's why you don't get as much out of radio drive. All right, I'm going to turn on a little driver. I'm going to put a couple hundred watts in. Hello, driving my 16 pill. Let it calm down. 15.5. Woo-wee, look at that, look at that. One, two, three. That's a big old number for a 6 pill. Hello, that's some great big numbers for a 6 pill, mister. 5 on reverse. Hello, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're back. It's right on money. 2,500 watt PUP. On the birdie, see what she does on the birdie. Six pill, six pill, C box on the birdie. Seems like the six pill, the C boxes work real good. The C boxes work real good in that configuration. She's showing about 14, 1500 on that. All right, we're gonna drop down to 14, two, just to get it back to car volts. Radio drive, it's on 14, 143 14, three, Radio drive on 14, three, doesn't make a lot of difference right there. When you drive me, Drive me on 14.3, hello, driven on 14.3. Still making great watts, man. That's just great. That's just really getting over for a six pill. 2,500 watt PP on the birdie. We'll be reading that. Middle scale, this, I'm sorry, top scale. This plug, this slug seems like it's pretty tight to me. Hello, worldwide, 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 about 12 feet here. Five watt reverse. Seems like I got a different, I'm a bird. 
sometimes when my LP get tired of my bird, it seems like I got different slugs, and my different slugs seems like I guess maybe they're war or whatever, they read a little different. There we go, guys. Donkey Stomper Super 600 High Drive HG 6 pill CW Sideband Bias. All up and ready to go. I appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, if you don't mind, please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Y'all know who it is. Your friend 10, 018 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Catch you later on.